Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here with mgrmusic.com and today we're going to be looking at Phil Collin from Def Leppard and seeing if we can get some of his classic tones using the Silverline Special. All right, so let's check out, first of all, some of the clean tones that Phil Collin would have used on some of those 80s Def Leppard hits. We're gonna be using the clean, bright voice for this with a 6R6 response. Def Leppard's clean tone was often very American-based, so we've got the ISF all the way over to the left side. Those 80s Def Leppard clean tones were covered in chorus reverb and a little bit of slapback delay. We've got this nice, wet, clean tone, a lot of chorus, a lot of reverb, and a little bit of slapback delay. So just at the tail end of your notes, you get that little tail off. For this tone, I've got the bass set to 12 o'clock, the middle and the treble set to one o'clock, the resonance set to 11 o'clock, and the presence set to one o'clock too. This style of clean tone is great for any 80s style ballads you may be playing. This tone was used all the way through Def Leppard's career, even on tracks like Bringing On The Heartache, before Phil joined the band, there was a similar vibe with the clean tones. <laughs> When Phil first joined the group, Def Leppard were transitioning from a hard rock band into a fully fledged stadium rock band. So in the first album that Phil played on, the Pyromania album, there was a lot of really heavy crunch guitars, but they hadn't quite hit their fully saturated 80s sound yet. So here's the tone you'd hear on tracks like Photograph. <laughs> and other hits like Rock of Ages. To get this tone, you want to set your silver line on the super crunch voice and use the KT88 response to get that big high headroom British rock sound. Once we switch it to the super crunch channel, we can set the drive to 11 o'clock. To make sure we've got that mid focused British sound, the ISF is all the way in the right position. The bass is set to 11 o'clock, the mid is set to 11 o'clock, and the treble is set to 1 o'clock. We've also got the resonance set to 12 o'clock and the presence set to 3 o'clock to get a nice big bright rock sound. We're still using a lot of reverb and chorus here, so we've got the plate reverb setting. We've got the chorus turned down just a little bit from the clean tone, so we don't want it swimming in chorus, but we want a nice modulated rock sound. And we've also got a little bit of slap delay just to thicken it up at the end. And the final one of Phil Collins' tones we're gonna look at in this video is his more saturated rock sound that he would have been using around about the time the Hysteria album came out. So tracks like Pour Some Sugar On Me. <laughs> And all of the band's heavier rock moments would have had a sound a little bit more like this. So let's dig into how this one's made. Settings for this tone are exactly the same as the Super Crunch one we did for that crunchier sound. The only difference is now we've switched to the OD1 channel. The gain is still at 11 o'clock. All the EQ settings are exactly the same. And we're still using the KT88 sound and all the modulation delay and reverb is still the same. The only difference here is we're using the OD1 channel now, so we've got a little bit more gain and it's a little fatter sounding, so it really captures that fat rock sound that Phil would have been using at this point in the band's career. When you're emulating Phil Collins' tone, you really want to use a super strat style guitar with humbuckers much like this one, especially high output humbuckers. Phil would often play with a metal pick, and he's also known for using 13 and 14 gauge strings tuned to E flat. All right, so there we have it. There is a little rundown on how to get close to the tone of Phil Collin from Def Leppard using the Silverline Special. If you're using the same amp to recreate Phil's tone at home, you may find it quite useful to turn the resonance up a little bit just to simulate the amp being a bit bigger. Now, Phil Collin's tone would have been created using a very large amp. We're doing this with a 10 inch speaker at a very low volume. So remember, this isn't going to sound exactly like Phil Collin, but we're going to get in the ballpark. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you are now able to go away and get your Silverline special to sound a little bit like Def Leppard's Phil Collin.
Don't forget to let us know down below in the comments what you think of this tone and if you've had some success recreating this yourself. And if there's any other guitar players you'd like us to get the silver line to sound like, please let us know. Don't forget to check out mjrmusic.com if you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area. We've got a network of great teachers all over the UK just waiting to help you unlock your full potential. I'm going to play you out now with another Def Leppard classic using that saturated late 80s tone. Here is a song off the Hysteria album called Gods of War. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you soon. <laughs> Thank you.